Hi. Happy International Women's Day to all of you. And thank you for subscribe for your subscriptions. Thank you for managing time to listen to my video. I really humbly convey my gratefulness to all the followers, all the viewers, all the subscribers of my YouTube channel. So, you know, today uh, I uh, woke up in the morning, uh, had my uh, meal, uh, went to college, uh, took four classes there, conducted uh, uh, UG same one examination, and then attended a beautiful webinar uh, around 2 p.m. in the afternoon from college uh, premise itself uh, and since then I have been uh, attending participating and also delivering uh, uh, talks in many uh, conferences and webinars uh, on women uh, in this uh, very special day 8th of March uh, 8th of March marks a very special day for all of us. It is celebrated all over the world as uh, International Women's Day. So when we celebrate Women's Day, uh, we uh, celebrate equality, we celebrate equal rights, we celebrate equality beyond and above gender, right? That's uh, that's that's how it is supposed to be that's how it should be that's how it ought to be but in this lecture i would like to talk about uh, two very important uh, intellectuals one is chimamanda goji adichi and another is jk rowling and then i would talk about uh, women since uh, it is women's day since it is women's day so and then we we'll talk about uh, the definition of women in this women's day definition of women in this women's day who are women who are women because unless we understand who women are there is no point in celebrating women's day so the celebration, the whole point of celebration, Women's Day, must stand on a very clear definition of who women actually are. Before we deconstruct who women are, who women have been, let us, as I have already promised, let us discuss uh, uh, two very important feminists in this video. One is uh, Chimamanda Goji Adichie and another is Sheikh Rauli. But Chimamanda Adichie uh, in a BBC interview, it's available in YouTube. I'm sure you can always look up in YouTube and find that video of uh, Chimamanda Adichie where she talked about uh, the definition of trans women. In that video, uh, which is widely available in YouTube, Chimamanda Adichie uh, was asked by the BBC interviewer that who are trans women. To, to that question, Adichie answered that trans women are trans women. So, I'll, I'll, I'll try to clarify that. I'll try to clarify that i'll try to deconstruct that she was asked that who are trans women and what did she say trans women are trans women she could have said but she didn't say that trans women are women instead she had said in that video that trans women are trans women okay uh, so whether trans women are women was left unanswered by Chimamanda Goji Adichie, uh, at least in that YouTube video, at least in that YouTube video. Okay, so in the next uh, part of my uh, video, uh, I would talk about a tweet, 
that J.K. Rowling had tweeted. Let me read that. Uh, let me read that uh, tweet first. Okay, let me read that tweet first. Okay. J.K. Rowling's tweet. It was tweeted a few months back. And in this tweet, what Rowling is saying is that people, I'm quoting Rowling. Okay, I'm quoting Rowling. Uh, really, I'm, uh, it, uh, every time I discuss this tweet from Rowling, it really excites me. People, I'm quoting J.K. Rowling's tweet from her official Twitter handle. Okay. Quote, people who menstruate it, I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. Umben, Wimpand, Umad, creating a more equal post COVID 19 world for people who menstruate. Listen to this very, very carefully. This is so, so getting interesting. Creating a more equal post COVID 19 world for people who menstruate. So, who are women? Women are those beings who menstruate. So menstruation, therefore, unfortunately, <laughs> becomes the index of being a woman. So if you do not menstruate, you disqualify as a woman. Basically, what uh, J.K. Rowling is saying in her tweet. You can go back in her official Twitter handle and, and cross-check my point. So, in order for you to be a woman, you have to menstruate. Now, this is my point. There are many women, like trans women, who do not menstruate. They have never menstruated, these trans women. So trans women don't menstruate. Trans women are women who do not menstruate. Now, if trans women do not menstruate, according to J.K. Rowling, the famous Harry Potter novelist, trans women are not women. Why are they not women? They are not women because they do not menstruate. So therefore, menstruation becomes the prerequisite of womanhood. Wow! Now, this is classic. I have to saw, I have to say this on this very important International Women's Day. This Twitter, this tweet from J.K. Rowling is classic, is absolutely classic example of transphobia. And this kind of transphobia is taking feminism, unfortunately, back to 1950s and 1960s, when second wave kicked in. I'm sorry to say this. This is going back to 1950s and 1960s. Why are they going back to 1950s and 1960s? Instead of moving forward into the third wave and beyond? This is so regressive because it is going back to that binary between sex is biological and gender is cultural. And why are they going back to that binary? Because they are started saying that people who menstruate are women. So therefore, if menstruation becomes the prerequisite of womanhood, the prerequisite of womanhood, menstruation has become, or menstruation is read as a prerequisite of womanhood, then what is happening is that you are telling the old world that woman is a being who has vagina, and vagina is something that you cannot challenge in being a woman or in womanhood. But you can perform different kinds of gender. So gender is something that is social. Gender is something that is political. Gender is something that is cultural. <laughs> right? But sex is biological. Sex is fixed. Sex is stable. 
you cannot change the sex. If you do not menstruate, if you do not have vagina, if you do not have periods, if you do not go through the uh, gynecological cycle, the period, you are disqualified as woman. Your womanhood gets summarily disqualified if you fail to menstruate. So menstruation becomes the certificate of womanhood. And who is giving this certificate? A transphobic, tarfish, feminist like J.K. Rowling. And I'm not too excited with Chimawanda Goji Adichie's BBC interview either. You know, while celebrating International Women's Day, we have to be little, we, we talk about gender sensitization, but then we also have to be very careful uh, in being more and more inclusive. Because if feminists uh, have started behaving the way uh, Sheila Jeffries is behaving, uh, the way is J.K. Rowling is behaving, Chimamanda Gaudi Adichie is behaving, German Greer is behaving, uh, even someone called Jordan Peterson, Jordan B. Peterson is behaving, then I'm sorry to say that uh, feminist is uh, uh, going back to sex is biological, gender is social, secondary binary. They are not progressing in spite of billions and billions of celebrations in terms of seminars, webinars and conferences on 8th of March unless feminists become more accommodative, more accommodating, more inclusive, more trans-inclusive, and less and less transphobic. And if feminism becomes transphobic, then feminism is dangerously becoming asymptomatically patriarchal, while going back to the secondary feminism the 1950s, 1960s, the mid 20th century. So therefore, let us celebrate this Women's Day. Let us celebrate this uh, happy International Women's Day with much fanfare, with more trans inclusiveness and less transphobia. And then would we be able to uh, sort of uh, uh, celebrate uh, feminism and this uh, form of International Women's Day in the true sense of the word, in the true sense of the term. Let us have feminism. Let us celebrate Women's Day. Let us celebrate feminism through International Women's Day on 8th of March with more trans-inclusiveness. Because the whole idea of feminism and Women's Day is resisting patriarchy. So they are fighting against men. But while fighting against men, they are excluding all those women who do not menstruate. They are excluding all those uh, women who are trans women. So are you not doing the same thing while being a feminist? Something that patriarchy had done to you in the first place. This is the question. Because if the feminists continue to behave in such tarfish, in such transphobic manner, like J.K. Rowling, then feminists are repeating the same mistake that patriarchy did to the first wave and second wave. Then how inclusive is your feminism? If feminism talk about women, then let us talk about women in all its colors on all its rainbows. If feminism talks about women's day and women's day talk about feminism, then let's include all those people who are women, be it heterosexual women, be it disabled women, be it women with AIDS, be it women uh, who is transgender, be it a woman who is a trans woman, be it a woman who is hermaphrodite. Let us not exclude any woman. Let us not exclude any woman at all. 
this is the only prayer that I have to all the feminists on this very special Happy International Women's Day on 8th of March 2022. Thank you. Thank you so much.